Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I did this Van Gogh presentation in PowerPoint. But before we go in, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a square. And then to make sure everything's aligned, just go to align, align to center and align to middle. Then we're going to create another rectangle that's going to take the whole area of our slide. And then we're going to select both shapes, go to shape format, click on merge shapes and then click on combine. And then from format shape, just click on no line and change the color to black. And then what we're going to do is we're going to source our image from internet. And then we're just going to copy and paste it on the slide. And then you're going to right click and send to back. And that way you'll be able to see the cutout that we did. So then you just have to reposition your image, maybe zoom in a little or make it a little bit larger depending on what kind of image you have. And then I'm going to add some text. So for this one, I'm just going to put the name of Van Gogh and the font that I'm using, it's called Rosarita. So now I'm just going to make it a little bit larger and I'm just going to put the first word on the left and then you can just duplicate it if you hold control on your keyboard and I just replaced it with the second word and I'll just make it a little bit smaller um, and just place it wherever you want it. And now to create the frame we just have to insert another square and for this one we'll go to format shape, we're going to select no fill and we're just going to change the color of the line. So for this one I just pick like this golden tone and then just click on OK to apply the changes. And now we're just going to insert another square and for this one we're just going to place it on the top left corner of the image and then we're just going to duplicate those shapes again by holding control on your keyboard. And if you select the first rectangle that you did and go to home and double click on the format painter, you'll be able to apply the same style to the rest of your squares. And then we're going to start with the animation. So we're going to select the image, go to animations and click on grow and shrink. And if you go to the animation pane here, you'll have options to change the animation. So for size, I'm going to change it to 110% and then I'm just going to smooth the end a little bit and then just click um, OK. So now we have this very subtle effect. Now for the left text, we're going to apply the fly in effect and then I'm just going to change the direction because I want it to enter from the left of the slide and then right click on it, effect options and change the duration and smooth the end and now that's how you have like this very smooth effect and then you can just copy the animation if you go to animation and click on the animation painter and apply it to your second text and for this one we're gonna change the direction to come from right and then select everything from the animation pane right click start with previous now we're gonna select all the elements from the frame and we're going to apply an animation called split. And now we just need to set up the animation so it starts with the others. So you right click and start with previews from the animation pane. Okay, so the next thing is to create a new slide. And to get rid of these placeholders, we just change the layout to a blank layout. And again, I'm going to change the background color to black. And now we're just going to add our first image. So you can just copy and paste it. And then we're going to go to picture format, click on crop and holding shift you'll be able to crop it proportionally from both sides. And then I'm just reposition it a little bit to the left. And then just repeat the same process with the rest of your images. Just make sure that everything is aligned and that they are the same size. And my method is just to work um, on top of the previous image so I get the sizing correctly. And then I just group everything and I use the align options to, to align it to the middle and to align it to the center. And then I just ungroup everything with Ctrl Shift G. 
and then we just need to add some of the details so in this case I'm just gonna put maybe the name of the painter the artistic period and maybe the years for this period and then we're gonna duplicate this slide with ctrl D and we're gonna focus on the first image so we just select the rest of them and drag them to the gray area and then for the first one we're just gonna go to picture format align to center and then click on that crop button and drag the handle so it reveals a little bit more of the image and once you're happy with the placement just create a copy of that image and you're gonna go again to picture format uh, click on crop and just drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide and then click on the arrow from crop and select fill because this will be our background image you have to right click and send to back and then you're gonna click on picture format and from artistic effects select the blur option and then from the format picture panel just change the transparency you can increase it if you drag the handle and then go to transitions and click on morph and that's how you get this super cool effect this feature is available for PowerPoint on Microsoft 365 and then the next thing that we need to do is to add the details of this painting so in this case I just put the location the year and the name of the artwork and I'm just making sure that everything is tidy everything is aligned and the next thing that we need to do is duplicate that slide that we did with ctrl D and for this one what we're gonna do is drag these elements to the left outside of the composition so remember they have to be on the gray area and then we're gonna take our second picture and we're gonna drag it in the composition and we're pretty much gonna repeat the, the process with the crop option you're gonna make it larger and then just add your details change the name of the painting etc and to make sure that everything is aligned we're gonna create some guides so you right click click on grid and guides and then click on add vertical guide and to duplicate it you have to hold control on your keyboard and drag the guide and now you'll have your guides set up on every single slide so now you'll be able to reposition your image and make sure that is the same size as the previous one and to make sure that all your elements are aligned with the ones that you set up on your previous slides and then let's go back to the second slide and we're gonna apply a different transition for this one so click on transitions and select fly through and that's how you get this effect so there you go guys this is how I made this Van Gogh presentation using the morph transition in PowerPoint and if you want to download this presentation for free, you just have to go to creatorsbooth.com and here you'll be able to download it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time.